So Chaos Space Marines are these awesome fucking hell angels, fallen, super cool, super warriors. And they've been fighting a non-stop campaign of something they call the Long War for the past 10,000 years. All the Long War really refers to is really a coping of the Chaos Space Marines, that they didn't absolutely lose the Horus Heresy because technically the Emperor got put on the throne. Uh, however, the Imperium for the next, like, thousand years was actually a pretty nice place to live until the War of the Beast happened. Then, uh, then GW writers got weird for a while. But really what it comes down to is the Chaos Space Marines are going to continue their rebellion against the Imperium. And each Legion has its own reasons for why it turned, but eventually it comes down to there are really two sides. There's the traitors, and then there's the loyalists. Now some Legions claim that they were actually loyalist but the emperor betrayed them but that really doesn't matter for the concept of this video there's a long war going on it's been going on for 10,000 years and thousands upon thousands upon thousands of space marines have died however unlike the loyalist counterparts uh the chaos space marines seem to be literally still the same space marines from the horus heresy and a lot of chaos legions have problems with recruitment to begin with. Sure, a chapter here or there may fall to Chaos, but even then, they're not really going to be joining the Chaos Legions. They're going to be running around as Chaos Renegades, running their own warband. Much like the Red Corsairs, I think is the most prominent example. And a lot of the Chaos Legions don't even like to recruit, uh, because it's a very personal war for them. It's a very personal grudge. It's not something like, oh, this Emperor guy, I hate him. It's I knew him, and I hate him, and I want him to die. As well as the majority of Chaos Space Marines consider new Space Marines thin-blooded, that they're not as good. Now, there's some discussion if this is true or not, uh, if the gene seed has been diluted over the millennia. Plus, this Chaos Space Marine Legions have quite a bit of problem of massive infighting, not just in between legions, but in between internal legions. There will be full civil wars that happen within the warp that sometimes kill probably from 30 to 100 marines. Company-sized formations die. So the question arises, if you're a numbers man like myself, how are the Chaos Space Marines still around? A lot of these forces were decimating during the heresy, massive amounts, and then further in the scouring where Gilliman was hunting them down, and they didn't have anywhere to go but a hellish warp storm where they didn't really know what was going to happen. And some of these Chaos Legions, like the Thousand Suns, were dropped down to a chapter-sized formation, and then cut even further by the scouring, the wars, and the flesh change, and just straight-up zinch dickery. And that's not even going to go to, you know, the world eaters whose entire MO is just killing each other, where they need to be in a constant war at all times to please their god. And they're on these ships with no one to fight but each other. So the question is, how are they still around? Well, I found a few answers for one, how they're still around, two, how they're still an effective fighting force, and three, how some of them actually still do recruit, but it's very weird. And if you know the one I'm referring to, yes, it is Mr. Hanzo. I think the most common argument I've seen for how the Chaos Space Marines are still around is that, well, their gods just bring them back to life, which isn't true unless you're a main character like Karn the Betrayer, or you have a set of unique circumstance. Much like how the Rubric Marines technically never die, they just put their armor and magic back together. Or if you're a demon, which sometimes counts as a Chaos Space Marine, but really doesn't. The most convincing argument I have heard from Chaos Space Marines still being around in modern day 40k is this. The Chaos Space Marines are in the warp, and the warp is very non-linear time. So, Chaos Space Marine goes into the Eye of Terra, comes out, it's 10,000 years later, he thinks it's been 10 minutes. So him and his full-strength warband from the Scouring now is going to wreak havoc on the Imperium. Of course there are still forces working in real space for 10,000 years, and how those forces have survived is really through hiding or, or an Iron Warrior fortress world. So, much like the Night Lords hid, or how the Iron Warriors just sit down and said, it's really too much trouble to take this world. So basically, one, 
the Chaos Space Marines really don't know how much time has passed when they go into the warp, and when they come out, it's really not up to them. So they have to then find active parts of their Legion and form up. That's how you get the larger points of the Black Legion or a proper war band under Eidolon or under Araman. And because they are members of the Great Pantheon, the demons of the warp do fuck with them, but they do help them a lot of the time. Uh, such as they will help with communication, they will help with coordinating forces. Of course, it will all need massive human sacrifice to work, but it's far more effective than the Imperium system of communication. And they have three main ways that they recruit. One, the most obvious, fallen Space Marines. The Space Marine chapter falls, it falls really, 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 really hard, and they go out and look for a sponsor, basically. And they get that through a legion, because enough of the chapter has been destroyed that they couldn't survive on their own if they wanted. So they become a subsidiary to a full-blown legion or just a stronger warband. And this can range anywhere from a single fallen Adeptus Astartes all the way up to multiple company size formations. The second way they recruit is they get their hands on some uncorrupted gene seed, because corrupted gene seed really doesn't work with the implantation process because it is highly specific. So they get their hands on uncorrupted gene seed, much like Fabius Bile did in Clone Lord, and then they use that to just make new marines in an uncorrupted environment, bring them out, and then they're newly corrupted. And of course, the third way, which we know, is the Demon Calaba. You can go learn about that in your own time. Basically, it's a very messed up demon engine of sorts that utilizes gene seed and human bodies to make a fully grown space marine except for the skin which you can find in great quantities in a nearby skin factory because you're on an iron warriors world but really the reason that the chaos space marines are still around in force is because the warp is weird and it messes with people so technically a Chaos Space Marine could die in the past and then be seen on a further battlefield, but he doesn't die there. It's weird. There's kind of an example of this in, I think, what is it? Dark Imperium, the third book, Godblight, where Kugoth is talking to a Great Unclean One, and the Great Unclean One dies to Gilliman's sword. And Kugoth is very sad about this. But he does remark that he will see that demon again, even though it's been killed and wiped out of existence, just because it has future meetings in the warp. It's very, this has always happened at the same time, but hasn't happened yet, but we're not going to have any new memories, but it has already happened. It's very strange. The warp is difficult to understand. Anyway, Chaos Space Marines are fun. They look really cool. Genuinely love the Thousand Suns, even though they're unbelievably arrogant. And all their inspiring sorcerers should have technically died already, just from the campaign of Space Marine 2.